The following may not be suitable for children under the age of 18. Welcome to episode 13 of the Sky Jenny Show, the absolute worst show ever. How unlucky could I be while I walked under a ladder and said, fuck you, luck. If you'd like to follow me through social media, on Twitter I am at SDD916. If you'd like to follow me on Facebook, I have changed the name to the unofficial group page to the Sky Genie Show page. Please like and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. If you'd like to support the show, go to my homepage on YouTube and there's a donate button. You can donate whatever you like on there. Your donations go towards the show and helps me quality of audio and improvement overall of the show. Otherwise, the show will remain free. I'd like to shout out a few podcasts, Get in the Corner, on Wednesday at 9pm on Mixler. As well, also on Mixler is the Don Tony Kevin Castle show, who drop it every Monday night, immediately after, immediately after Raw. As well on the same channel as the Don Tony Kevin Castle show is Wrestling, Wrestling Soup. They do a show on Thursday at 9.30pm. They also... Do a Saturday morning ship box on Saturday mornings, but this is not on pay per view weekends. Um, and on Sunday pay per view weekends, they do a recap show of the pay per view. So please check check them out on Mixer. Also on Podbean, there is the Solar Monster Sounds Off, who drops a show every Sunday. They are really good shows, and I recommend you go out your way to listen to them because they are really good shows. Unlike this one. As for Jeannie Jr., well, me and um, Mrs. Jeannie decided to sit him down and decided at 34 years old it was time for him to learn about the birds and the bees. Well, um, he took that wrong and had sex with a bird and a bee. How does that work? I have no idea. For some reason, and Sky Genie has a fixation on animals, and um, it's kind of weird. And um, I don't know what to do. We, we, me and Miss Mrs. Genie don't really know what to do, to be honest. But he is a special boy. We have news and reviews and a lot more right after this break. Do you suffer from going bald? Hey, it's no shame. A lot of men and women experience baldness in their 20s. But do you want to look good and feel good up there? Well, I have something for you. Come to Hair R Us. Yes, Hair R Us has all the kinds of hairs and wigs that you could want. Even the Donald Trump style. What better way to look like the new United States president than wearing a Donald Trump wig? You also have movie star wigs or movie character wigs like Austin Powers. Hulk Hogan wigs, although you probably already got that kind of hairstyle anyway. 
but you can also get the alfalfa kind. Little Rascals reference here in 2016. <laughs> Mention this show and get absolutely no discount. So let's face it, who, really, who the fuck knows about this show? Fucking idiot. Like you'd mention this show to get a free discount, you fucking tool. Go to Hair R Us today. Are you looking for a good set of tools? But you can't seem to find them anywhere because somebody's been knocking them off. Well, I have the store for you. The Tool Shed. Yes, the Tool Shed has many tools to your disposal. You have such tools as Dixie Carter, Donald Trump, and even Vince Russo. Oh, and also hammers, spanners, and all that other shit. So for good tools, go to the Tool Shed today. And we are back. Some TNA news. Miss Bleach Drinker, I mean Dixie Carter, held a conference call for the TNA roster. It was described as one of those blah blah calls of usual. You know, those conference calls where they tell a lot of bullshit, tell them no information, and completely lie about everything until the next set of bullshit comes out on the news. Introduced Eric Nordholm as the business manager, something like business of the board of business managers or whatever the fuck it is. And was no no who the fuck he is. Anyway, there's a talk about them going forward it's good for the fight network and TNA, blah blah blah. Hoping to strengthen their partnership with Indian T V Sony Six which I don't know what that means. I mean they're probably getting a tour somewhere. Um Dixie Carter confirmed that Billy Corrigan and Dave Lagana have gone and the creative team will consist of John John Gaborik, Matt Conway and Madison Rain but they are looking for a new writer. Gee, I wonder who will get that fucking job. The wrongful death suit to WWE involving Matt Osborne and Nelson Fraser Jr or as other people know as Doink the Clown and Viscera. They were deny, denied anything from the court owing from WWE from the long, wrongful death suit as there was no evidence of Matt Bourne having a CTE scan and that was a result of drug-related overdose. Nelson Fraser Jr. was cremated with no autopsy. And Nelson Fraser was a big guy. And, you know, people at 500 pounds aren't going to last long. People with drug overdoses aren't going to last long. I have had two people in my family who are both, who had the same issue. And you can't, when you're doing this shit, I mean, I don't want to get on it, anything for a drug issue or weight issue and stuff like that, um, and it's something that's hit close to home, um, you can't blame anybody but themselves, and okay, and it, with this lawsuit with people suing for con- concussions in a WWE ring, for one, it's stupid, well, actually, that's the whole thing, that's stupid, because... They chose to become wrestlers. So when you, it's like me. I choose to eat junk food. I choose to eat ice cream. I choose to drink alcohol. I choose to do, to sit on my ass. I choose to get go to the store or walk down the street. That is my. That's what you do. Is your choice. And what really gets angers me is when people blame shit on other people for their for your for the actions that you did. Okay, should somebody have fucked you over? That's fine. Somebody, this guy slept with your girlfriend. Okay, there's something to blame blame about. But when you when you smoke a, take a ton of drugs or eat a lot of food. And you are dead or in hospital because of it. 
that is your issue. And yes, maybe I should be a bit more sympathetic towards people. I mean, I don't wish anybody should die, and God forbid, I hope it's preventable. And I'm talking this from a person who's had both of these issues in the family. It's... You, you can't feel sorry for these people for their lifestyle. Sure, you can be sorry that they died, but their lifestyle is their choice. Mentally, is there something wrong with them? Pro- probably. But then that should they have not gone out to get help? And I know I, I've never been an addict, ever. I've never done drugs in my life. Uh, and when I drink alcohol... It's a bare minimum. I, I social drink with people. When, when you go... So people look out for help. But you have to look for that help. You, you can't... You can't sit... And people get, get in that mindset. Okay. I'm not good enough. I'm not this. I'm not that. And that's where depression starts. Fine. And I've, I've been into depression... I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have. Probably everybody in the world has experienced depression in their lives. I mean, that's just life, really. And you know, I understand for the for these for the widows or or partners of the deceased, but really, and and I'm and I'm sorry for their losses, but there's nothing. That you can really do about it. I mean, it's you either move on or sit and be bitter. Don't mean to be an asshole about it, but that's the truth. Roman Reigns was pulled from the European tour, apparently from Dave Meltzer. It was not due to a willingness violation, um, but it's also not due to injury either. Um, with status being unknown and guessing it was either a family thing or a personal matter back in the States, but either way, Roman Reigns is off the rest of the European tour. And I, from, there's no update if he'll be on Raw, I'll say he would, but that's all the news on that at the moment. And for the first time ever, I'm doing a Ring of Honor review. Now, I did a pay-per-view, but this is the TP. So, yeah, this will be a little bit different. Uh, the very first match was Donovan Dijak with Prince Nana versus Danny Miles. And this was pretty much a squash match. But the difference between this squash match match is it was a lot different, a lot more different than what WWE, WWE squash matches are. Because when WWE has a squash match, the, the little guy gets no offense or gets... Well, sometimes doesn't you, you know he's not going to get put over, but here Donovan died. Jack really looked impressive in this match. Um, he hit three of his finishes for the win, and yeah, this this guy's a future talent, I reckon. After the match, Prince Nana cuts a promo, and once just Donovan died. Jack actually lost the the television championship match. And looks for Donovan Dijak to make an impact. We then get a backstage interview where the Young Bucks and Adam Cole talk about their Young Bucks win of Ladder Wars. And they run down the tag teams as the Motor City Machine Guns walk past. And it ends up going into a big brawl. We then go to the Briscoes vs. The Addiction. Although the match doesn't happen because The Addiction come out still in street clothes. They're too injured to compete. They put over the Briscoes, saying they are the greatest tag team in Ring of Honor. But and Kazarian puts over Christopher Daniels and says they want to be known as the greatest tag team. They end up leaving. The Briscoes then challenge the Young Bucks to a ma- to a tag team title match. But then Adam Cole and Adam Page come out and say the Young Bucks are not wrestling tonight because they are injured too from the same match. So Jay Briscoe challenges Adam Cole and Adam Page. So then we get the Briscoes versus Cole and Page of the Bullet Club. 
Uh, this was a really good match, and it ended in disqualification when um, Adam Cole hit Jay Briscoe with a title. After the match, they do a uh, post-match beatdown of the Briscoes, and then Red Dragon comes out and makes the save. And it's a really good... Uh, this The build-up to between Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly looks really good. And the way um, Kyle O'Reilly has been, he, he's going to be a really good world champion. We then get a small snippet of the Kingdom's Matt Taven talking about talking his team up. And I have not seen the new Kingdom yet, but I ho- hope it's pretty good. We then get a um, promo cut with Jay Lethal promoting his match in London for the Ring of Honor World Championship, his rematch. And then we get to the main event. For the six-man tag team championship tournament, he was the cabinet versus ACH, ACH, Jay White, and Kushida. And I thought this was a really good match. Um, the cabinet, some of the cabinet stuff is really hokey and really stupid. I mean, <laughs> their gimmick sucks, but the match here was pretty well worked and I thought was a lot really fun. Um, the face team gets the win, yeah, but the, it was a good match. But I think it went a little bit too long. And overall of this Ring of Honor show, well, I really like this show. And and Ring of Honor has not been as good as what it used to be. And But they still put it, pull out pretty good shows, and it's pretty evident here. And I think that'll be it for the Sky Junior show for this episode. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe. And if you can, please donate to the show. Um, otherwise, the show will, will remain free. Um, Thank you for listening.